welcome. Today we are opening up four subscription boxes. They're all beauty. We have two from Ipsy and two from Glossy Box. We're opening up the Ipsy Plus, the Ipsy Glam Bag, the Glossy Box for July, and then we have a Glossy Box Limited Edition box and spoiler, it's really good. So today we're going to unbox and I also have some first impressions to share as well. So let's not waste any time. Let's get started. If you want any specific boxes or jump ahead, there's timestamps and chapters added for your convenience. Sorry guys, this has taken me a few days. I don't want to focus my energy on it, but I haven't been feeling so well. Um, but let's just get started with Ipsy. So the Ipsy theme is Soak It All In which makes sense for summer. So all the boxes today were kindly sent to me free for review, but this is not sponsored. And I did have some clips. Um, this is filmed over a few days. So you'll see uh, a lot of these items in a little clip I'll include later, which normally I wouldn't include, but I want you guys to see everything. I think the bags are super cute. I love the little starfish, the blue, totally goes with the theme. And I like that like chartreuse, would you say that color is like that green? It kind of looks like my nails there. Um, which I actually painted for this video. It's one of the items coming up. Spoiler! <laughs> but I love the bags. I think Ipsy bags have been super cute. I say this every month almost. I've been loving them, especially this month. I love anything like ocean and water themed. So we're going to start with the Ipsy Glam Bag, the $12 bag, unless this price has changed too. I'm a little like clouded in the head right now and also I just never know. But uh, everything will be linked down below. I Ipsy, I do not have affiliate links, but I believe Glossy Box, I do. I know they just changed their system they use for affiliate marketing, so I'm not sure, but just to be totally transparent, possibly there are affiliate links, but not for Ipsy. I'll just leave their regular site down below. So the first item is Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I haven't used this in so long, so I actually did try this on. You won't see me trying it on, but I did um, wear it for two days recently, and the past two days. And it does cover up my pores a little bit. It's very silicone-y. A little bit goes a long way. So you can see it on my hand, I guess, now. But um, I have kind of large pores. I feel like when you're a little under the weather, it's more transparent. I don't know. But it, it helps a little bit. My makeup stayed on fine. I just prefer more, like, moisturizing bases, I guess. I don't really... I'm not a big primer person. I do use them. I've been using the Tatcha one. Uh, but I really don't know the difference. This works fine. I know a lot of people like it. The next item I did not use. This is a uh, moisturizer called the Vital Boost. I feel like we get this brand often in Ipsy and other subscriptions, but I usually end up putting these in giveaways. <laughs> so you guys leave a comment down below. I think people really love the brand. I just always get sample sizes and I give them to you guys. So this is by Kinship and this is an eye under eye cream and I did try this twice and it's it has like a little bit of a yellow color, so uh, it's not as like yellow as a banana powder type thing, but it does maybe help a little bit with under eye darkness. I suffer from puffiness, especially lately, now that I know why. <laughs> Believe it or not, on allergies, it's been like a sinus infection. But um, I said I was going to dwell on that. But it it did help a little bit, I think, um, brighten my eyes and with puffiness, but um, right now I'm extra puffy. But I am excited to get that and try it out some more. And I tried this too. Uh, I realized my Thrive Cosmetics mascara is totally donezo. So this is a bad, what is it called? Bad Bang by Benefit. And this one is good. I know I liked it in the past. So I tried this. And you'll see it on my eyes later. Um, I did film some clips. My eyes look so bad, like sicky. Like it looks like I'm stoned. I'm not. <laughs> so I'm not going to include that. But I did try it with a lash primer we'll talk about later. And I did like it. I like how it performs. But I just don't like taking it off. It's such a pain. And then I use this eyeliner too. I love that it's a dark green color and that it is retractable. It's pretty creamy, but I did use it um, one day. I only used it on my waterline. The next day I used it on for both like a little wing and that, and it's waterproof, so it lasts. Um, I was worried it would be too creamy. It does kind of look black, but it's not as black. So you could, I love the green color. I think it's different, and I honestly just, yeah, I've been using it, and I, I enjoy it. So that was everything that came in the Ipsy bag. So I love that you get like a full-size product and other items too. I think it's totally worth it. I always say this, but it's my number one recommended beauty box for those just starting out in subscriptions. Or maybe not. Like you get at least $50 worth. So maybe you just haven't been in the beauty box game <laughs> game in a while. Oh, and there's the inside of the bag. I like that color combination. I just love the colors in general this month with all the boxes. Look how pretty they look. <laughs> Now we're going to move on to the Ipsy Plus. So this one, I didn't say this before, but you get to customize one item in the Ipsy Glam Bag. And Ipsy Plus is five items, and you get to customize three. 
I get this sent in PR so I didn't customize any of them. But we I think I use most of the items actually. Yeah. So it's pretty large drawstring bag. What do you guys do with the drawstring bags? I would love to know. Remember when we used to talk about like ways we use our bags? We should do that again because I just found a bunch of them. I try and put giveaway prizes in there, which by the way, if you're new, I do a giveaway uh, the beginning of each month for subscribers. So I did use this. Okay, it's called Ambitious Violet Palette. Um, I love the name of it. Violet was my grandma's name, and I always said if I have a girl, I want her name to be Violet. I love that it says Ambitious. Uh, and the packaging is really cute. Just wait. And the shade names and the colors. So I used this twice. Oh, I have swatches. Did I include that? If I did not include the swatches in this clip, I'll, I'll put that at the end. But it's very pretty. Um, I liked it best when I didn't use the darker purples. And I love the names of it, but look at the background of that palette. It's so pretty. I hope I... I should just pause this and include the swatches right now. So here are the swatches. I think they swatch really well. They performed on the eye really well. I used this two days in a row. Even though I felt crummy, it made me feel cute. I really liked how everything was. I think this is such a cute little palette. I just prefer the shade um, in the upper right corner opposed to rose next to it. Just It was like a little too purpley, but I still like that like mauve shade and fortune. All the shimmers perform well. I really like this. I don't know if I've tried this brand before and look how pretty it is. <laughs> Ambitious Violet. Maybe I'll have one one day. And these are lip oils that are tinted. One is pretty much like the shade of my lips and one's a little bit red tinted by Vagamos. And the shades are what? Uh, Sophia and Valentina. And I swatched them and I like the lighter shade more, I think. I I totally overline my lips to make them look bigger. And I feel like I forgot that like lip oils and stuff can make it expand a little bit more. So I need to like be careful. I like this for when I'm just having like a natural look or just going for the lip oil. I cannot stand dry lips and I love lip oils. I haven't really obsessed about them like I used to. I was so into lip oils for a while, but now I have more tinted ones. So I'm probably gonna get back into it. So yeah, you can see that one is like one's more peachy and Valentina is a little bit more red. Valentina sounds a little bit more spicy and they're not super sticky. They perform well. You'll see them on my lips in an upcoming clip. I think I had both on kind of, but I started with Valentina. Yeah, I think Valentina might actually be the shade I have in the upcoming clip. I used another lip gloss we'll talk about too. This is the lash primer. You guys, this really works. There's two sides of it. It's by Item Beauty. One side is for lengthening and the other is for volumizing. And I did a test the first day I used this, one on like the lengthening on the left side. I did that so I'd remember LL, you know, and then the volumizing on the right. And it really works. And it comes out on your lashes, literally like the purple color and the blue color. But when you use the mascara over it, it really, the, the color disappears. And it did what it says. I have short, like blonde lashes naturally. So you can't really tell on camera when I, but like for me in person, like it totally looked different. So then the next day, I used both the lengthening and the volumizing on both lashes and then mascara and I was worried that like wouldn't work but it still worked and I was taking pictures and then I realized like oh gosh did I wait too long in between like putting on the mascara and the primer but no it's it worked fine and maybe that's why it was hard for me to remove not hard but like compared to the Thrive Cosmetics mascara which comes off so easily with water and doesn't like leave anything under your eyes like I had a little bit of trouble taking it off like I had to actually use makeup remover that's all I mean um but next Myriad I use this too um so this is supposed to help with like your pores minimize por pores and it also helps with oils and like shininess and has SPF in it and it's kind of funny I was putting this on I'm like oh I should wear more SPF even though I don't go outside during like peak hours typically. Um, but I was like, all the other skincare I use is for like dewiness and like, so like I don't, I'm not really trying to per, like get a matte look, but it still worked fine with my other products and it kind of smells like SPF, but it doesn't, it like, you can see here, it's blending in like really easily. It's not too thick, like some SPF moisturizers are. Uh, so I'm guessing you probably want to use an additional SPF with this when, if you're going outside. And then this is a mist that's supposed to help with blue ray light. So I don't even know if these work, but I did spray on my face a few times throughout the day and it felt good. The mist is really nice. When I first looked at it, I was like, it looks like a foam dispenser, you know, I wasn't sure. And hopefully you can see this on camera in a second. I'm gonna spray it once or twice. 
Yes, look at that mist. That is a nice mister. <laughs> so I do spend, I mean, who doesn't spend a lot of time um, in front of screens. So I'm gonna keep this on my desk and try and remember to use it because I mean, it feels good. It moisturizes your skin. And I already said I like a dewy look, so why not at least give it a shot? So that was everything in my Ipsy Plus. And you guys, I actually tried everything. This is <laughs> unusual for me. You guys are probably like, no, we wanted to give away. No, I'm just kidding. But I love the bags. I like the products. I'm like, okay, I'm trying to think. I really like the primer. Like I have not really loved a lash primer before. I It really does what it says. Item Beauty, like, isn't that a TikToker's brand? Like it's actually, everything I've tried from that brand I've liked. So loved ipsy this month let's move on the first glossy box we are opening is the female founded limited edition box and to be honest i i don't know if this is available uh their their limited edition boxes sometimes go fast but i did just get this like a week or two ago i don't know time flies but i will link this down below if it is still available i hope it is it's really good um so it's gonna be more than the regular glossy box but typically their boxes are like 35 dollars. let me see if i have a price here I didn't talk about, or I didn't talk at all. Uh, I was actually like listening to something, YouTube probably when I opened this. So you get a little information I know from the editors and look at all the items inside. There's a lot that came in here and it's all from female founded businesses. I love supporting that. And you know, I see prices for the individual items but not the whole box, but I love the box itself too. They always come super cutely packaged. Even the monthly box for July is super cute, like even cuter maybe. So the first item, my nail polish, look at, it looks a little messy. I had to repaint them, I put a clip in, but I thought this was like more pigmented than I thought, like Deco Miami, I believe is a brand. Uh, and this is in the shade Tequila Sunrise and has a value, is considered full size, it's $8, but it's pigmented and I really like it. I don't know how to do my nails without effing them up though. Like how do you guys stay still for so long or like not touch things? I, maybe I just open too many boxes, <laughs> but I feel like I'm always ruining my nails, but this is really pigmented and it was easy to apply. And I was so excited to get this. I think I got one of these in like a, a boxy charm forever ago by Touchland. It's a, um, whatever, hand sanitizer that smells good. I think this one's berry scented. Let me find it. Um, yeah, Power Mist Berry Bliss. It's $9 and it's, I just think it's really nice and conveniently sized and I was excited to see that in there. It's not drying at all. And I tried the shampoo and conditioner too, you guys. I've tried a lot of this stuff. I, I figured since I was sick, I might as well review. Um, So this is by Monday and this is for frizzy dry hair. I do, sometimes my hair gets a little dry, but I'm not super frizzy. Um, I used both the shampoo and the conditioner yesterday and I like the packaging. I think it's super cute. At first, I, I say this every time I review a conditioner, I just always use a hair mask in place of a conditioner. And I know I could have just used one after, but I felt like my hair wasn't as, it was like a little bit harder to detangle after. Not really though. It wasn't like difficult, but just it didn't feel as moisturized. But then later on that day, I felt like my hair looked fuller and better than usual. So maybe I shouldn't use a hair mask every week, like, or whatever, I, like three days. <laughs> um, maybe it weighs down my hair a little bit. So we got some vitamins. I tried two out of the three kinds. There's a uh, one for your hair, skin, and nails, and they're all chewy gut, like vitamins. The hair, skin, and nails one was strawberry flavored. It tastes really good, and it was shaped like strawberries, so that's cute. So FGBG, I guess, is the brand. And then they had a um, standard multivitamin, which I had after this, like later that night. I was like doubled down on my multivitamin. I mean, I don't recommend that, but I just felt the need. <laughs> and then the third one here is interesting. It says it's like enhances tanning, which I, I did not like study or look into the, the what's in it. The nutrients seem fine. I think even if you're like me and you don't tan or go, <laughs> even if you try, um, I think you could still like get some benefit out of it, but okay. Just, I have to say it. If you guys have any medical conditions or anything like, like that, take other medicine, always check before starting any uh multivitamins and stuff like that i know certain people don't like getting this in their subscription boxes but i only actually have like two or four servings left of my multivitamin and i do prefer gummy vitamins because i remember to take them it's like a snack and then here are some hair ties and the clip that i am putting in is when i talk about the hair ties and I have the other makeup on, so that's why I'm including it. I'm not a huge fan of these, but they actually are better than I thought. I've tried them in the past, like bone coil looking ones. I like the shades they came in, like white, clear, and like this olive green, which is kind of like the eyeliner color we got. There's six of them, and I've been wanting smaller hair ties because I only have scrunchies right now, which don't get me wrong, I love scrunchies. So if I look crazy, 
<laughs> or you're like, you're way too old to be wearing pigtails. Well, one, I don't agree with that. I love pigtails, but um, the main reason why I wear braids like this is because I like my hair to get wavy. I put volumizing mist in it, my hair and then I braid them and sometimes I do it overnight or just like during the day um, while I'm doing my makeup. And then I take them out to have a little bit of wave. And I did this today with something in one of the boxes. These little like foam cord looking uh, hair ties. And I'm not a huge fan of them, but I thought maybe they could be good for the end of my ponytails because when I would put them up top, like for a high ponytail, I felt like they snagged and it kind of looks like it will. So let's take it out and see. And then I'm going to do my nails <laughs> and then we're probably going to record the rest of this video later, but I'm excited. Yeah, see, it seems like it, it's supposed to not snag, I feel like. Oh, that wasn't too bad, but I was excited because I usually use scrunchies. I don't have any small hair ties right now and they're kind of big for my thin hair, but it's, it's fine. They're, they came in a few colors, but okay, that, that was fine. Let's see. Do I say? I told you guys what I do. Let's see if it looks wavy. I put the Christoph Robin like rose texture mist. Okay, for me, this is wavy. If you guys know, <laughs> I have dead ass straight hair. I have like a little wave. Sometimes I'll curl it still. Oh, look, it's all tangled right here. I don't know if that's me or the hair tie. Like is a fountain in the background. This is kind of a test run to see how the audio is with the mic and in this room. So let me know. And yeah. Mm -hmm. So I had the eyeshadow palette I showed you earlier, the eyeliner, um, the lip gloss. So next up we have an item I did not try. This is by Bloom. I have gotten some of their items in the past. They have like tampons that are natural and stuff too. Um, this is a gentle facial cleanser probably going to give away because I just opened like two new cleansers and then this I tried I haven't had this in a while the Grande Lips Lip Plumper and I did swatch it on my hand I couldn't really feel the tingling effects and I put it on my lips too you'll see in a second I'm like shocked that it works spoiler because it didn't tingle like bad look like what the <laughs> So yeah, that was the day before I used that shampoo and conditioner I talked about. So I did film this over a couple days. Uh, that was like day three hair. And yeah, the hair ties I've been using, they're fine. They don't snag as much as I thought, but you did see how it was kind of, it doesn't look the best, but I don't know. But I like this. It actually works and doesn't hurt, but maybe my, I'm just less sensitive right now. So this is a hand cream. Always happy to get hand creams. Blossom and Bloom. It has niacinamide in it. And you might have noticed I have like a little, some cuts on my hand. It's from playing with Emmy. <laughs> I think right before I started filming this, she like, we were playing with the toy and she kind of scratched me. It's never like malicious. I mean, I don't know, maybe she's out to get me, but uh, that's why I have that. So I'm putting, trying to moisturize them now. I love that yellow nail polish. From far away, it looks good. You guys are probably like, it's so chipped. <laughs> I really liked this female founded box. There's a few more items still. I think right now I stepped away to wipe that lip gloss off my hand so I could rub in the hand cream totally because I was still, I was really expecting it to sting more. I <laughs> did not though. And it wasn't too sticky or anything. I think, did they improve their formula? This smells so good and I haven't been able to smell very well and I was so excited when I sprayed this and I could smell it. It And I love sunflowers <laughs> and the message behind it and it's so pretty and summery and it smells seriously good. The fact that I could smell it when I could barely like smell anything. Like part of my morning routine, I use this journal and you use your five senses and you write down what you can see, touch, smell and stuff. And I haven't been able to smell things, but this I could smell. I have to like go up and sniff something purposely to write it in my journal. So this is by, what brand is this? Let me find them. Floral Street, full size, sunflower pop, $30. Yeah. This will last a bit too. It has bergamot, vegan honey accord, and a pop of Bellini accord, fresh mandarin. It is bright blend. Yeah, it definitely is a bright summery blend and I, it really made my day that I could smell it. The next item, I was kind of excited to get this. It's called fur oil. So it's for your pubic area, bikini line. So I, it can help like with your hair, like if it's really coarse down there or if you have ingrown hairs or any like irritation. I don't have coarse hair. I don't barely have hair like anywhere in my body, I feel like. But I do get like 
really badly irritated when I shave sometimes or just it grows that way. So I did use this. Um, I don't know how it works yet. I feel like any skincare you need to you need you uh, you need to use it consistently to see. But it is an oil. It has a light scent. Uh, I looked at the ingredients. Nothing like seemed unsafe. You know, don't put it like in there. You know, but like on the outside. <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> I'm delirious. Okay, and then the last item is a mascara I did not try since I opened another one. This is by Ciate London, the Wanderlust Mascara. Yeah, the fur oil is safe for any sensitive area. Well, obviously, yeah, it's lightweight. It definitely is lightweight. It absorbs really quick. And it was gynecologically and dermatologically tested. Cool. So that was everything in the female founded box. I didn't say the pricing of everything. I apologize. Um, so the only other thing that was full size is the Grande Cosmetics that I didn't mention. That's $27. And uh, the rest, I love how they do put the deluxe size. But you get 11 items. And I thought it was pretty freaking good. I liked all of it. And I got some things I could use, like needed. So yeah, I remembered I didn't show you pricing. So here it is if you wanted to like pause and look at it. But box is super cute too. But the next box, I love the July's, like, total look, dive in. I already mentioned this. I love, like, C-type themes and all of that. So the box, super cute. And they're very sturdy. So you can repurpose them, reuse them in whatever way you want. Um, this is another thing that would be useful if you guys have any comments uh, or, like, letting us know how you repurpose or reuse your boxes. This is so pretty. I love it. <laughs> And like usual, there's a little pamphlet with someone beautiful. Look at the, that smile, it's teeth. Um, tan, <laughs> it's a tan. So it says, hey Glossies, we're jumping headfirst into newness this month. New brands, new ingredients, new techniques, because summer is often labeled as a time to minimize our beauty routine, but we know that those effortless, no makeup looks still take a little prep. I like that. So, let's see, I can't remember what I start with. You get a mix of full size and deluxe size. So this is $21 a month, and I do have a link and code, I think I do, if I still do, I'll leave them down below. You can get, if you want to sign up for a full year, it's $1 for your first month, or if you want to sign up month to month, it's $16 for your first month. And this is a plant-based retinol, bacuchiol. I always want to say a word that I shouldn't. Um, bacuchiol, is that how you say it? <laughs> Serum, but yeah, it's an alternative to retinol. It's less harsh, so it's good for um, a variety of reasons, like cell turnover and for, oh, and I got all excited. Look, it's $44, and then there's it's number four in here, and I keep seeing the numbers 444 everywhere. I was like, what does this mean? Maybe I should use this. <laughs> um, so it doesn't make your skin as sensitive to the sun like retinol, or it's not as harsh. So that's a great alternative if you don't, if you get, react to retinol. 444, and if that's your number. <laughs> and then we got some straws, which I was pumped about because I, I could use some. I do not get water bottles anymore. I used to try and get them for backup if hurricane season happened, but I just end up using them. But lately, the, I, it, because it's hurricane season, <laughs> Florida like grocery stores have been out of water, which is kind of concerning. But uh, yeah, so point being, I love drinking straws. It makes me drink water more. And it comes with a little straw cleaner too, which is nice because it does get gross if you've ever had that happen <laughs> and these are by the authentic beauty concept i feel like we've gotten stuff from them before uh but makeup or skincare and this is ten dollars and that we already talked about the retinol for next so i got this in another box recently and the first time i used it i used it wrong so i'm so glad i looked at the advice in glossy boxes pamphlet i i used it as a scalp treatment all over and my hair looked greasy for days and we already talked about my thin hair in this video so the next time i used it which was the same day i used that like shampoo and conditioner i just did it as a pre-treatment and left it on the, like the roots and the ends of my hair so that will be going in a future giveaway that i love that company earth harbor it's 30 dollars and i did a test i should sniff my pits right now um this I have a natural deodorant. I love Xeon. I'll leave it down below if you guys care, but I talk about it all the time. This is a charcoal deodorant. It's considered full size. It's small, but it's $12, and it smells like lavender and vanilla. It has charcoal in it, which, P.S., I hate charcoal toothpaste. I don't say hate often, but I need to get some new toothpaste. That's all I have right now. I don't like it. But charcoal deodorant, this did work. The lavender scent does not stick around, but like 10 hours in or something, I did like a, t a little sniff last night before I went to bed. And it was still working, but it just didn't smell like anything. So it, it might be runner up to my favorite. Um, when Xeon Health, I'm using the the bold 
Palo Santo right now. I love it. So we have Bella Pier, little palette here. I think this will go in a giveaway too since I just opened a palette for myself. I love these colors too. I already have them in a million palettes. Uh, I love those shades. So we have like one like matte and three shimmers. The matte looks like it has a little sheen to it in a mirror, but beautiful colors. Large palette or large pan size. Oh, there's me. <laughs> so I think that's pretty. And that's $25, which is a lot, but that brand's always overpriced. And then we have another mascara. I didn't try this. This will probably go to one of you. Lala's Everyday Mascara, $20. And I do not know this brand, but they said we're, they're featuring all new brands. Uh, they're all, well, I've never heard of that one or Clio and Coco, but the other brands I've tried or heard of. I think I gave a Farm RX. We got in the past uh, a face gel cream thing. I think I gave that to my dad. My parents love skincare, so I send them like a bag of it like every two months or so, uh, which I love that they use skincare. I'm like, yes, I've got some to share until I give it all away and then sometimes I don't have any, but I, I know I'm good. I really liked all these boxes, you guys. I think, gosh, it was really fun for me to try all of this. I'm sorry I couldn't include more clips, but overall I really love these boxes. I would love to hear what your favorite was. If you get any of these, links are down below. Thank you again for being patient with me and for dealing with my voice and my schedule. I love you guys so much. I'm so grateful for you and I hope you have a beautiful day. And yeah, love you, bye.